All right, are we good? Sound good? Sound good. Awesome. All right, follow me. Hey, uh, Jane, would you uh, like to answer a couple, a couple quick questions from a documentary assignment for class? Kev, you said the last one would be the last one. Well, you've been a very prominent figure in my last couple of documentary projects, and if you do this one quick cameo, I swear I won't ask you to do them again. I'll leave you alone forever. Please? All right, so... Um, in your opinion, what do you think qualifies as a, a horrible breakup, an embarrassing breakup, or a mutual breakup? Um, okay, so a horrible breakup would be cheating and then hiding it even after you've been found out. An embarrassing breakup would be like from forgetting Sarah Marshall. I don't think there is such a thing as a mutual breakup, uh, except in Seinfeld. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jane. Wait, what, what is this even for? It's, it's for my final project for doc class. No, I get that, but I mean... Oh, oh what is it? Um, well, it's a documentary about breakups. It's where me and my girlfriend, Julie, and my roommate, Jay, that's Jay, we interview like the ex-boyfriends and the ex-girlfriends separately, and we get their sides of the breakup stories, and we get the dumpers and the dumpies. The dumpers and the dumpies. I just came up with that. That's a good band name, Jay. Write that down. I think I might actually call the movie that, The Dumpers and the Dumpies. The Dumpers, the and, dumpers the and the Dumpies. Okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> but yeah. It's... You have fun with that? And All right. Send me a copy whenever it's finished? Of course. Okay. All right, thanks, Jane. Looks like you need a hand. Fun, it seems. Man, it's better than vlogs. <laughs> Nothing exciting is happening yet. I'm just doing all the work you should be doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, push that couch. Xeno Warrior Princess. Queen of moving furniture. Hey. Is okay? Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, we're supposed to expect people tomorrow at 10 a.m. around. Dumpers or dumpies? I guess we'll find out which is which later. Uh, by the way, I don't want auto. Fine. Hey, I want this to look really good. Julie, can you do me a favor? Yeah. I'm just going to wipe down some exposure. All right. That's it. We're all set, Captain. Alright, I'm gonna do a little chest shot. Julie, when you broke up with our most accomplished director. Oh, please. Can I get a shut the fuck up on set? Thank you. When you broke up with our director, how did it feel? Why is she breaking up with me in this scenario? Oh, so you're saying that you would break up with me? Why are you breaking up with me? I. Look, I have a very appealing personality, thank you very much. Shh. I've thought about the times we've had together. I mean, we've gone to Branson, and we've gone to Overland Park, and to Memphis, and, well, it was kind of fun, but it kind of became a deal breaker when he filmed everything. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle looks good. Thank you. Less talking, more filming. We met freshman year <laughs> in PR class. He sat in front of me and I was like, oh my gosh, he's way too hipster for me. <laughs> and then the next semester, we ended up having another class together. And I was like, hey. What's her name? Caitlin. Maybe a cat. Maybe it was none of those. Maybe it didn't even start with a K. I could start with a C. It's gonna drive me crazy all day. I mean, I know like we hit it off. I could tell that we did. It was mostly positive like things, but it just wasn't like magical. He was like, I bet you're wondering why I haven't like made a move yet. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, it's crossed my mind. <laughs> okay, do you have a photo of her? Do you want to like hold my hand first? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I remember her. And he was like, sure. I don't, I'm not even friends with her on Facebook. So I like finally got up the courage and was like, so, like, what are we? We weren't like official or exclusive or anything, so. I'm so stupid. I can't take a hint, I guess. Relationships are alright. I don't really take them that seriously. I'd say it's pretty serious. He's very thoughtful. I think I stopped talking to her before a birthday or something. Very caring. 
I don't think I ended up going. He said he had something to do. Like he was, he's been really busy with work lately. Died. Had games to play. I'd say we'll probably be engaged for a while. Like on the brink of marriage, I think. I don't even want to think about marriage right now. That's crazy. I don't really think she thinks about me that often. I can't remember her name. She probably doesn't even know who I am. I don't even know how you guys like found me. Things have gotten a little uh, tame in the bedroom. Blowjobs. It was nothing but blowjobs. I couldn't even get the guy to look at my vagina for three weeks. And he would always say, oh no, keep your panties on. It's so much better that way. So we were at her parents' house one week, and I said, hey, we've never watched porn together. Would you care to join me upstairs? Dick suckers from the center of Venus in 5D. Yeah, not forgetting that one anytime soon. So we start undressing during the first scene, and she tells me to turn the volume up. And I turn the volume up. But no matter how high the sound went, well, we just didn't hear anything. He forgot to disconnect from the home theater. So Dick Suckers from the center of Venus was at full volume in surround sound at my nephew's bris. So um, is there anything else you want to do for this? We have plenty of time. Uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, uh, I like what we have. I think it's very funny, but I think something's missing. That's all. I know it's missing. What? Motherfucking theme song, baby! By the, By the dumpers, dumpers and the dumpies. dumpies. <laughs> what do you think is missing, though? I think it's a guaranteed A, at least. It's funny, dude. Well, I don't know. Maybe I want something just a little more insightful. Babe. I know I'm picky. Babe, there's something insightful about it already. I mean, you're capturing breakup stories from both sides of the situation, you know? I mean, I'm pretty sure that you could send it in to my psychology teacher and then he would have us analyze it. That make you feel better? What are you doing? She's giving me the sexy eyes. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, actually, uh, that, that would make me feel better. I never had my films analyzed before, but whatever. Do that face again. Oh, yeah. Well, on that note, I say goodnight, lovebirds. Goodnight, lovebirds. Night, Jay. Okay. What are you doing? Just filming. <laughs> awesome. Do it again. Yeah. <laughs> Julia, you're too damn tall. Psych major, everybody. Some date, huh? Oh, come on. <laughs> you took time off work to do this. And I'm having fun. <laughs> you wanna know the first thing I'll do when I get my first million? What? I'll buy you a horse and a ranch to keep it in. <laughs> you do that. But what are you gonna do with the rest of your money? I'm gonna get a Maserati. <laughs> Maserati? Or a Miata. What are you gonna do with Either one. Maserati? What can't you do with a Maserati? <laughs> <laughs> Look, a guy can dream, right? Yeah. Well, it's gonna happen someday. You'll be a famous filmmaker and you'll make lots of, of great films and I hope so. everyone will buy. What are you gonna do? And I'll be a psychologist. Uh, no, you're gonna write my scripts. <laughs> I mean, screenwriting, that takes a lot of psychology. It's like creating characters that has to have a deep look into the human psyche. You, you write my scripts for me. We'll see. All right, fair enough. You know, all it takes is just one thing to get your career on the right track. And for me, it's just getting a film into Sundance. Right, that is the first time for everything, babe.
Have you seen The Little Mermaid? Well, I basically wanted to do the same thing and give up my own voice to see if somebody was worth dating and if they would respond to me not talking. It didn't work out so well the first two times. Gorgeous girl, just sitting at the bar, drinking by herself. And he started talking and buying me drinks. And she wasn't saying anything, so I just felt the need to talk enough for two of us, I guess. And we hit it off. I just, I cracked a joke and she gave me this cute little grin. And I could have started talking after two or three dates, but I just wanted to push it and see how far I could go and... And then one night I invited her over to watch a football game with me. And then I started cheering for one of the teams. She opens up her mouth for the first time since I've met her and she says, Go Tigers! And it just so happened to be the team that he was against. What are you doing? Well, I mean, of course this started off as, like, you know, a game of gay chicken, because that's what straight guys do. Uh, you know, Ketcher would be like, oh, oh, someone's over there, let's, uh, let's hold hands really quick. And I'd be like, oh, oh, shit, you know, like... And neither of us were backing down because we're both, you know, stubborn, we're just committing to the joke. And then I'd look and then there was nobody over there. And then we just kind of started kissing. I found myself actually enjoying the things that we were doing. I mean, I, I, guess, I guess we were slightly more than friends. Honestly, it was just a big experiment. We decided to, I guess, expand on a relationship. We went to the bedroom, had like rose petals out, we laid down the towel, we had everything prepared. And one of the things that we read was that you should use lube. I just assumed the more the better. So I told him to throw, throw the whole thing in there. But after just like 15, 20 seconds... I shat all over him. It was at that moment I realized, what the fuck am I doing here? And then he just grabbed a sheet and just ran out. I, I haven't, I blocked his number, I blocked him on Facebook, I... I haven't, I haven't seen him in months. I let, I let a friend down, that's what I did. It was a joke that went too far. I'm not doing that anymore. It was so hard for me to even think that something so special was just over in a matter of four seconds. Hey babe, I just thought of something. What? Well, you know my coworker Ashley? No. <laughs> you don't? No, no, I don't. Who is she? Well, um, she's your neighbor. I don't know all my neighbors, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, well do you know her ex-boyfriend, James Anthony? James Anthony, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was in my cinema history class uh, last year. I haven't seen him around much since his dad died though. Oh. Well, I was just talking to Ashley the other day, and she said that she broke up with James. She broke up with James? Yeah. Right. That they broke up. And so I thought maybe you could get us an interview with James, and I could get us an interview with Ashley. What do you think? Would that work? Come on, get your stuff. Okay. Come on, I'm gonna go to my house. Hey, Jay? Jay? Any for your thoughts? Fina! 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 Yeah, she's probably out. All right, you need to call Jay. She'd know something. Okay, Jay again. Hello? Hey, Jay, I know that uh, you're currently not at home right now. Otherwise, I'd easily go to your room and ask you something. Uh, James's dad, he died in prison, didn't he? Wait, prison? Uh, yeah, James Anthony, yeah, why? Did you ever keep in contact with him? What do you go to prison for? I forgot. We're Facebook friends, so that's about it. Why, what's the deal? Do you know who broke up with who? James or Ashley? Like, it, uh, who's the dumper? It was Ashley. Ashley. Ashley dumped him. I wonder if she dumped him after the death. It wasn't just a death. He committed suicide. No. I remember when the breakup was. It was the day right after. Oh my god. That's so horrible. Oh man. Okay. That's that's pretty complex. Uh, and that's just what we need. Julie, I want you to talk to Ashley. Jay, can you get a hold of James for me? Like send him a message on uh, Facebook? Sure, I guess. But what are we doing again? 
we're getting both sides of their story. Hey. What are you doing? I'm getting behind the scenes. Cool. Right on. Oh, hey, there's an echo in here. Echo! <laughs> I'm going to film you filming me. Are you really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, what are we going to do, Kevin? Uh, well, Julie, since we're sending each other's names, we're going to wait for the documentary. We're going to record an interview with Ashley Harrison, who apparently has an interesting breakup story to share. Testing. One, two, testing. Testing. Hi. Um, uh, my name is Kevin Morse, and I'm the filmmaker here. I mean, the, I'm the director. Was, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm usually better than this. Um, you're Ashley, right? Yeah. Um, I Julie so told me all about you. I deny everything. <laughs> okay, now, uh, now Ashley. Um, now I'm going to ask you a difficult question, and you just answer the best way you can. Can you tell me why you broke up with James? Like, what happened? Well... He just acted different after his dad went to jail, and to be really honest, I was probably going to break up with him anyway. What is that? Well, he just, he was so distant after all that happened. And he, he wouldn't talk to me, he wouldn't talk to anyone. And he wouldn't let me help him. What was I, what was I supposed to do? I don't know. told you was stupid. Did you, did you break up with him the day after uh, his dad had killed himself? After you died? I didn't know that that had happened until after we had already broken up. Um, but I'm, I'm meant to call him and apologize. And for a while I was even going to take him back, but I just. Part. <laughs> uh, do you do you want to talk about the worst part? Me as well. But who all is coming to see this? Oh, uh, uh, no I really I mean like my film class is probably gonna see like snippets of this, but probably not the whole thing. I mean James is gonna see it, if that's what you mean. Um the reason that his dad even went to jail in the first place was because the cops received an anonymous tip that there were drugs in the house. And there were. His dad offered me some one time when I was over there. And I mean, of course I refused, but I might have noticed some weird behavior with James in there were a couple times when we were hanging out that he looked like he was having withdrawals or something. Um, and so I tipped off the police. Okay, well, I think we've done enough for today. But I made it good. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know, like I just let a load off. It's nice. <laughs> hey, but don't worry about it. You did the right thing. And he's not going to show that last part, is he? No, no, I won't show it. Okay. That is some messed up shit. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't believe we actually got a confession like that right on camera. And she just straight up admitted that she got James's dad arrested and she probably left him because she felt guilty about it. And she probably wanted him to snap out of it too. I mean, it's not easy for anybody to get over something like that, you know? And just like she said, she was being selfish. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. I know, but I mean, we've all done something like that, right? I mean, not as bad as that, but I mean, we've all done something bad. Okay, so uh, we just got Ashley's side of the story. She left James because she you know, wanted to be heard and maybe she felt guilty about it. Maybe not as much as today, but still. So tomorrow we hear James's side of the story. And I have an idea. Okay, so what if, I mean just what if, after we're done asking James the usual dumpy questions in his interview, we just tell him what Ashley told us. Oh, I'm sorry, do you mean- We'll tell him the reason why Ashley broke up with him. We'll be the ones to give him closure and shit. Oh, I don't know, bro. That's... She told you that in confidence, She man. told us right there on camera. It's no secret anymore. I thought we weren't going to use that. Julie, think about it. If you broke up with me, would you not give me a reason why we broke up? We know each other better than to do that, okay? Yeah, but... So it's probably for the better. I don't know. Well, it has been a long time, right? Yeah. James is probably over it by now. Could be. I don't know, actually, judging by his Facebook statuses, I don't think he's over it. Show it, do it. Give him some closure and shit. See, she agrees. Okay, also, isn't there something in psychology class about how closure heals wounds? <laughs> it's done, buddy. Hey, where are you going? Don't leave. Shit. I think I see what you're saying, and I definitely agree that he probably does need some closure. Okay. But promise me we'll ease him into it. But, well, I'll ease him into it. Like, ease into the harder material with Ashley, didn't I? You just want to see what would happen, don't you? Okay, I agree. I admit it might make for a stronger film, not just a comedy, you know? I mean, I think we have something complex here. I want to take advantage of it. Not, not the highest advantage, but still. You know what I mean? Well, don't expect this to end well. Are we going to argue? No. I mean, it is your film, right? And you're just going to do whatever you want with it. Okay, this is where the interview is going to take place. I don't think anyone's here. Well, obviously it's dark, so... Yeah, I just gotta wait. Uh, this is the recording studio. Obviously, you see there by the sign. What's really cool about this is that there's a window that looks right into that other room. And there's a microphone set up so that you can actually speak into that room. It's pretty cool. I was taking them so long. Hello? You good? Yeah. Yes, sir, I am good. Alright, you ready? Yeah. I... This is like a form of therapy for me. I, I feel I need this, honestly. You ever see a therapist? No. Can't afford one. I sit around and watch superhero movies, sometimes sci-fi. Makes me think it's it's like a form of escape. Okay. Well, you, sh you should uh, try vlogging. It actually helps. Oh, okay. I'll have to try that sometime. Sound good? All right, so James, can you tell me a little bit about uh, your relationship with Ashley Harrison? Well, the best way to answer that question it's like saying it was like an old stagecoach trip in the Old West, in that a lot of things happen, and you, you wonder if you're ever going to reach your destination. Why is that? Because... Well, first of all, we, we had chemistry together. We had fun together, often. I remember one of the best moments we shared was when we went to the old State House Museum and we used to fantasize about what it must have been like in the courthouses and schools of the olden days. That just answered two of the questions I was going to ask. Uh, yeah, I've been there actually. It's actually pretty nice. I didn't think Ashley was into that sort of thing though. 
Okay, so what? Well, I didn't either. It was just whenever, especially when we were with when we were when we were with her friends. Um, I how do I put this? They high up on on the social scale, maybe. I, I couldn't fit in with them, and Ashley Snums would get very mad at me for not making an effort. So, um, so Ashley had told us her side of the breakup story. Now we want to hear yours. What, what happened there? Well, I think it was my fault, mostly. I never forgave myself for that. I, I just shut down, shut everyone out of my life. Didn't want to talk to anyone. But Ashley, she was persistent. She was always calling, always trying to get my attention. I just couldn't talk to her. I couldn't talk to anyone. I was too busy thinking. About your dad? You know, I was always wondering what was going through his mind in that jail. The day the letter came, that's when things start to get ugly. They were detailed about what he was feeling, and what he was going through, etc. And then Ashley called. And I actually wanted to talk to her. But then she just started yelling at me. She just started saying, what is the matter with you, you pathetic, creepy little daddy's boy? Don't you think that I might need something from you? You don't just need me, you bastard. I'm sorry. It's just, after she broke up with me, not long after my dad died, I wondered what it was that I did to make her snap at me like that. I never thought that was my fault. But from that point on, I don't know, I just, I, I sort of hated myself. So I can't listen to classical music anymore of any kind, it's just... Something about it reminds me of something that's missing. You know, I do wonder if I could possibly get her back, but... No, that's... That's stupid, yeah? Did you ever watch the Little Rascal shorts? Like, the original shorts? The Follies of 1938, they... They pain me to this day. Especially You're the One for Me, that's... Ashley and I... Used to watch that one a lot together. James, I um, I have something to show you, and there's something there's something you need to know. It's about Ashley. Kev. He needs to know. Don't be mad at yourself. I'm sorry, James. Are we done? Yeah. You can't use that. So yeah, not exactly the best day for, for filmmaking or me and Julie or Julie's pissed that I went ahead and told James Ashley's secret. Okay, it's not exactly a secret, but I mean, it was something at least, right? I just thought he needed to know because, like, people need closure and they want answers, don't they? Whatever, I'm not the psych major here. I mean, Julie is. I'm just the guy who thinks he knows people because he makes movies. Brooch. 
Anyway, Julie wants me to um, delete, just cut out everything that involves James and Ashley. I told her I would just use bits and pieces, but she feels bad about this whole thing, and she, she stormed out of the room. Jake quit the film too, and now Julie's not returning my calls. I mean, she's not, re she's not replying to my texts, and that scares me because she never ignores me like this. We've been together for like over a year, like probably a year and a half, and she never ignores me like this. But look at what all I've gotten so far. I got so much good material. I, with this film, it's it's not like some final project for school. It's like, it's like it's like its own narrative, and the structure keeps building and building. And this is what documentary filmmaking is like. This is I'm getting things. Doc, documentary filmmakers, I think they get things that people are afraid to get. If Julie's afraid to if Julie's afraid to get this, then I know I'm doing something right. For the film. For the film. I'm doing something right for the film. This vlog is not going the way I thought it was going to go. There's a limit. There's a limit. I'm exposing the guy. I'm exposing the guy. What the hell am I doing? I... Julie's right. That's how we get through whatever argument. That's just it. She's right. I'm wrong. That's it. And I'm... I'm done. Okay. Alright, tell the camera what happened. Seriously? Come on, Jay, humor me. We have to get this. Okay, um, I was driving home from work and when I was pulling into the driveway, I saw something weird. You can see it through the window. Okay. Put it on manual. Right, hold on. Okay. Is that James? Yeah, that's James. What's he doing? Thought he was here for us, but is he staring at the house next door? That is still so blurry. Wait, what? Is he staring at the house next door? The house next door. Oh my God. What, Kevin? What? Ashley lives next door. Ashley, Ashley is in his ex-girlfriend. Ashley, are you shitting me? No. Oh my God, he's stalking her. Oh my God. This is insane. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Uh, okay, okay, um, maybe you could scare him off. Like, go outside and pretend you're taking out the trash at, you know, one o'clock at night. Why me? Well, he's, he's probably really ticked off at me. Oh, good, yes, that I'm definitely going out there. You didn't interview him. Because I'm calling the cops. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? He's doing something. Oh, my God. Is he leaving? Going, going. Gone. Do you think he could see us? He wasn't looking over here, was he? No, I don't know. Kevin, I don't like this, this is too weird. I'll stand guard. My name is Kevin Morris, and shit. And I, oh, God. Phone line, sorry. Okay, let's just put it over. Okay. <clears throat> That's distracting, okay. My name is Kevin Morris. Something's going on here. Not quite sure what it is. My sister and I noticed something really strange happening. Someone spying on the girl next door. What's his intentions? I do not know. It's 2.50 in the AM. I'm standing guard, looking out their window, making sure nothing happens. Who 
And I am definitely not on decaf. <laughs> I'm not going to use that. Okay. That's blinding me. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Alright, let's try this again. Okay. Alright, like I said, it's 2.50 a.m. Uh, no sign of James or anything. So, uh, James mentioned in his interview that there was a certain Little Rascal short that he can't stand to watch, and there was a certain song in it that he couldn't bear to listen to again. Uh, I think I found it. I remember watching it when I was a little kid. Yeah, here it is. Wow. Okay. To be totally fair to this guy, if I listen to this song again, I'd probably lose my mind too. Oh, there's no two ways about it. You're the one for me. Okay, no. No, 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 no. Damn it, I missed it. God. I thought I woke Jay up. Probably didn't. I blew it, man. I just, I guess when I saw James's car just like drive by, I just, he didn't stop. I thought I was recording it just drive by. I'm pretty sure it was the same car, but I didn't. It was, I got a problem. I don't know if it's like a disorder or something. Maybe, maybe, maybe Julie has a term for it in psychology class or something like that. I, I have to film stuff. I just feel it inside. I have to. I think I could probably trace it back to that time when I was going to record something at City Hall. It was for a friend. He was going to record this public hearing. But he couldn't make it, so he was going to have me do it. They saw my camera and tripod and everything, and they told me to leave. They said they were going to call the cops if I didn't leave. They were really rude about it, too. They were like, they're like, I don't, I don't care what explanation you have, you just have to go. And then he asked if I got footage of what happened. I told him no, because the camera was on the tripod and the tripod was on the floor. I didn't expect anything like this. He cussed me out. He told me that I should have done something. I tried to tell him that if they knew that I was going to just pick the, pick the camera up from the floor and just record what they were saying to me, they were definitely going to have me arrested. They were going to take my camera away, probably break it, smash it on the ground. Guy didn't care. I guess that's when I realized I can't just. If something's going down, I gotta make sure that my finger is always hovering over that record button. It's 4.30. Maybe it wasn't, the, maybe it wasn't James. He's not coming back tonight, it's too late. I'm going to bed now. No, I'm not, I'm gonna stay here. Okay, this film just took a dark turn. I'm just gonna keep filming just in case, I don't know, something or other. Okay, uh, this is where he was. And that's what he was looking at. This is what I'm doing, just staring at this house like a total weirdo. Okay, so the plot definitely thickens here. I mean, like, I think this is what the film really needed, because like, what do ex-boyfriends who are clearly not over their ex-girlfriends do? Stalk them. Okay. There's something going. Julie. Hey, could I talk to you for a second? Yeah, sure. 
Um, I wanted to talk to you about yesterday. Uh, I'm really sorry about about everything. I was just really worried about everything that's been going on. But don't apologize, okay? Like, but don't apologize for being upset, okay? I mean, like, you had a concern and you addressed it, so. Look, I've been thinking and I don't have to use uh, James or Ashley in the school cut. School cut? Um, yeah. What do you mean? Um, well, I mean, like, I'm making another cut. Like, a longer cut. An extended cut? Yeah. It's, uh. I just want to go more in depth. I'm gonna blur out some people's faces, change their voices, so that no one can tell who it is for the most part, and uh, no one's gonna be hurt. Wait, uh, okay, so I'm really confused. What's going on in here? All right, we see that? James? Yes. Is that James? That's James. Oh. What's he doing there? He's staring at the house next door. Wait, are you filming from inside your apartment? Yeah, like he's been out there for like quite a while. I mean, like, I got him like right in the middle of it, so who knows how long he's been out there. Jay found him. What's he doing there? I don't know, like maybe he's, maybe he's waiting for her, maybe stalking her. I don't know, but, but whatever it is, it's just, th this is gonna be part of the film. It'll show the effects of post breakups and like just what a, it'll show like what a person going through like such a thing would, would go through. And in this case, he would stalk his ex-girlfriend. I think it would add more depth to the story. Like I said, like no one has to know who he is. I can just, I can brush out his face and post and I can change his voice if I have to, like if he says anything and no one can tell it's him because he, he could represent anybody. Any dumpy going through such a crisis like this. I'll do the same thing with Ashley. No one has to but, know. No one's gonna get hurt. But what is he, what is he intending to do there? He, he could, this could be dangerous. Look, I understand what you're trying to do here. I understand that you don't want anybody to get hurt, but yesterday someone did. Wait, wait, wait. Are you talking about yesterday? Yeah. Is that my fault? Look, I'm sorry. I just, I thought he should know. I thought he should know what Ashley said. S since when did you he, care he about closure. James before all this? Well, during the interview, I got to know him a little bit. No, you got some idea of him. I felt sorry for him, okay? Well, could you just turn that off, uh, please? Why, are we about to argue? Yeah. What? Uh, <sighs> There, it's off. Look, what's the big deal here, okay? Look, I'm gonna find ways that this won't hurt anybody. I can... Look, I, uh... It's a really gripping story. So what's your problem with this? Is it just that it bothers you? The problem is... This, this is how is... documentary filming can, can go. It can be really difficult. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made. But this has the potential to be great. Kevin, I don't care. I mean, I know you want to be a great filmmaker, and I understand that completely, but you are a great filmmaker, and look, you can't keep barging in on people's business like this. If you keep doing this, someone could get hurt. I look, I don't care who you're trying to impress. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, because, like, if I can just make the right film and, like, send it to the right people, I can use my film degree to do what I love doing for a living, which is make films, make documentaries, and I feel like this is the right film. It's going to get me started on, on a good career path. But you can do that with a different film. But this is the best project that I've done. This is the project I've been waiting for since well, I transferred here. Kevin. It's practically <laughs> gift rep for me. I want I'm you sorry. to quit the project. What? But... Okay. Kevin, I love you, and I love your passion for filmmaking, but this is just, this is all too much, and you're just taking it way too far. Look, just forget it. I'll text you after class. I can tell Ashley. I can, I can tell her that I can tell her what's going on. I can, we can call the cops. I, Julie. Way to go, asshole. You know, I wonder if Errol Morris ever had these problems. God, it's not even finals week and everything's already going to shit. And just look around this place. It's like a ghost town. We're only two days until dead day and everything's 
just looking like 28 days later. God, even the traffic is disappearing. I mean, not that it's anything unfamiliar to me. I mean, I've gone through this many times. I mean, like, the past few years, whenever finals were coming, I just wanted to go home, see my family and everything, but I live with my sister. So that's enough family for me. I can't go home until I make things right with Julie, however I can. Hey, James. What's up? I took your advice. I started vlogging. Oh, oh, good. That, that's cool. Um, um, hey, uh... You know, I wanted to apologize yesterday for, like, putting you in a bad position, and I just want you to know that, you know, that, that footage... You know, it's I fine. I understand. People sometimes do stupid things when they're nervous or excited about something. Like you're excited about this film. It's for documentary class, right? Yeah, it's my final assignment. Should be funny. Maybe I should sit in and watch it with the class. Sure, why not? Be cool. Cool. Feel free to do what you want with the footage. And like I said, people do stupid things without thinking of the consequences first. Like Ashley being a complete bitch and doing something she thought was for the greater good. Consequences? What do you mean by that? I'm not being interviewed anymore, Kev. Have a good day. By the way, thanks for not showing me Ashley's entire interview. Some things are better left unsaid anyway. What's going on? Just, I'm just editing for the final project. What's going on with you? Bored. I, Fencing got canceled. I'm sorry to hear that. No, please, make yourself comfortable. That's, <laughs> that's nice. Doing all right? What have you heard? Julie told me about your fight. It wasn't a fight. Mm. It was just more like a, it was more like a misunderstanding. Mm. That's all. Is it about the film, the um, Ashley James thing? I don't know anymore. Okay, I lied. I do know. It's just that she... She's very upset at me about the film and the way it's going and everything. And on the one hand, I see where she's coming from. And on the other hand... Look, look, you're a film major. Don't you see where I'm coming from just a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But Kevin, is it really worth fighting with Julie over? No. 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 The point is, you think Julie's got some sinister agenda to change you because you watch too many fucking movies. And you don't want it to be true, but you think it might be. You're fighting so hard for this happy ending with Julie and this happy ending with your career. And if you don't find a better balance, you're not going to get either. You have to find a balance between your love for Julie and your love for film. And I want you to have a good life. Are you understanding anything that I'm saying? What do you think she wants, exactly? Like, like, what do you think? Man, I don't know. Be happy with you? Not have to worry about you? Sure last night didn't help, did you show her? Yeah, I showed her. Mm -hmm. Oh god, I gotta argue it on film. Hmm. Shall we analyze? See where you went wrong? I thought I turned the camera off. I guess I just didn't notice it until I exported the footage. Anyway, I think it was right around here. Let's see, maybe it was right. Kevin, why is James there? Okay, I think that's the end of making the film. Unless James comes back tonight, which he probably will, in which case we should probably. No, 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 no. We are done. This is done. This is not some post-breakup symptom. This is weird. This is dangerous. And if he does show up at that house tonight, we are calling the cops. Jay, calm down. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's just... Kevin, I'm worried about you. 
When are you going to draw the line on this thing? Look, Jay, I, look, all I, what I really want, all I wanted to do was graduate with a bang, like turn in a hell of a final project for film class. It's just turning out to be really great, really groundbreaking, gripping material here, riveting stuff. People are going to... It is just... A school project, dude. There are going to be plenty of other opportunities. Do you really think your professor's going to let you show that? Well, well it's, it's real. I mean... Kevin. I'm sorry. Okay, look. I'm done. I'm done. I'm totally done. I'm done. Good. Now tell Julie that. And I swear to God, if you film me one more time, I'm shoving that camera up your ass. Uh, so I was dating this girl, and I thought everything was going well, except for the point it wasn't. This thing that was been like building up for the past few months of how I'm a filmmaker. He was always talking about the films he made and how I could use my business stuff to help make his films and get his films out there. And she uh, kind of like burned down the idea of filmmaking's a bad idea, or was a good idea. At first I thought it was just a hobby, but then I started to realize it was something he thought he could do for a living. <laughs> She envisioned it kind of like her parents, where the mom does nothing all day and the dad is the breadwinner. And uh, so I tried to explain, like, film was my passion, this is what I actually feel like I'm good at, what I can do, and that was just baloney to her. He was obsessed about it. It became to the point where he thought he was in a movie of his own life. She sent me a text message saying, hey, we need to talk. And I was like, okay, when do you want to meet up? And she's like, now, aka through a text message. Really excited about that. So I told him how I felt about it. I may have been a little bit harsh, but I thought it needed to be said. It was time to live outside of the movies. She's like, hey, you're never gonna make anything in film. You're never gonna do anything well in film. You're never gonna be anything wreckable. You're never gonna be a director or editor like you want to be. In fact, you're never even gonna get a girl because of your choices in filmmaking. And just like tore me apart, and that like hurt, of course. Uh, and, uh, She's just like, rip me a new one. You know all that earlier stuff? With the dumpers and the dumpies? I don't think it's funny anymore. God, you know, I barely even know what it feels like anyway. I've never been broken up. I mean, I've had my heart broken many times in high school, but mainly because I had unrequited love. Julie was my first girlfriend, ever. And I'm not ashamed to admit it. Damn it, that's, that's not gonna happen to me. It's not gonna happen with me and Julie, so just... Fuck it. Everything. Okay, I lied. I do have to film myself sometimes. Maybe it's a force of habit, I don't know, but... Okay. So, uh, the power's out. I don't know what time it is. Wait, yeah, I do. It's only... It's 2 o'clock in the morning. My phone is at 1%. It's been charging all night. I don't know how long the power's been out, but apparently it stopped a while ago because my phone is at 1%. Julie now. See how far this goes. Alright. Okay. Alright. What? Dead. Okay. Okay. There's something else. I gotta check something out.
I don't know what you think you're doing, but I got you. I got you. Damn right I got you. What are you thinking? Huh? Yeah, go ahead and run. I got you on candid camera, biatch. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, go. What are you doing? What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? What the? No, don't, no, don't go in that house. Don't go in that house. Don't go in that house. Jay! Jay! Fuck, I see where I'm going. Jay! Jay, wake up! Wake up! Jay! What? How are you doing? Okay, okay, listen, listen. Did you hear that? <laughs> listen, listen. I think James went into the house next door. I think he might have had a gun or something. He Jesus. was back out there. Listen, is your phone charged? Uh, uh, fair, yeah. Call the police now. Okay, yeah. Do it. Kevin! Kevin, what are you doing? I'm getting pictorial evidence! Jesus! Are you okay? Jay. Get that fucking camera out of my face, Kevin. Oh, I'm gonna see if the coast is clear. Kevin, no, get back here, Kevin. He's out there. He's slashing our tires. He's slashing our tires. What are we gonna do? Stay calm, stay calm, stay calm. As soon as I say, we'll make a run for it. Alright? We're gonna make a run for it. Just get ready. Wait, what'd he say? What'd he say? Oh my god, he's going for Julie. Kevin, he's going for Julie. There's no way he said that. There's no possible way he could have said that. Kevin. Listen, listen, I'm going after her. You stay here, call Kevin, the police. No, no. Tell them, to... tell them to get to her dorm. Tell them to get to her dorm, and I will. Okay. Okay, I'll call the police. Go. Okay, I'm just gonna do this until I get there. What am I doing? Yeah, this is all my fault. Everything. Julie was right. I just wanted to see what would happen. And maybe I thought that he needed some closure. My neighbor, Ashley Harrison, has been murdered by James Ashley. And as of now, I don't know what's happened to my girlfriend, Julie, but my roommate, Jay, will tell you all about it.
hell was that? Hey! I, uh, God. All right, all right. We're screwing around. I never won a fight in my life. I'm gonna kick his ass. Yes. Okay, my name is Kevin Morris. If anyone finds this footage, forget it. Hello? Hello? Julie? 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 Hello? I broke your camera, Kevin. I used your memory card for mine. Thanks. The internal memory was getting full. Hope you don't mind. Us film buffs have to help each other out. You having trouble breathing? I hear that one nostril flaring up like crazy. Let me ask you a question, Kev. Is it okay if I call you Kev? We friends? Fuck you! I hope so. Anyway, my question. Is this where you wanted your film to go? I know you've been filming me. Maybe you wanted to see me snap. You know, that was a dick move telling me about Ashley. But you wanted to see where the film would go. You know where it went? Hmm? You know about Julie? Mm hmm? If only you could have seen the look on her face when she realized what this film went to. What are you talking about? I can't help but wonder what would have happened if she'd still lived. Yo, shut up! What are you doing to her? What are you doing to her? Why are you going to... I'm going to... Maybe she would have broken up with you. <laughs> that would have been a nice twist. The psychology major is tired of her film major boyfriend just fucking around with things he doesn't understand. Just for the sake of quality documentary filmmaking. And hey, it hasn't happened to anyone of note, so it might as well have happened with me with you, with her, and fucking Ashley. I think you were onto something about this, Kev. The more I think about it, maybe now that I have your footage, I'll edit the film myself. Something has to keep me entertained, right? Because I'm so fucking screwed in the head. Isn't that right? Look at me! Is this your vision, Michael Moore? I think you've shared enough of your vision for your art. Here. Okay. Now, which one of these is your directing eye? We have a winner. Right. In the dead. Well, on reconsideration, maybe it's this one. No, no, no. <laughs> Who's in there? Hey!
Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Well, uh, when we decided to put all that into its own movie, I thought it'd be best if we just sat down and told you guys how we feel about it. It's been, what, six weeks? Five weeks now? I think it's been five. Five? Okay. Well, um, I guess we'll start with uh, what happened after we fought James. Um, I'm not filming myself so much anymore. Like, I, I rarely do vlogs now. And she even bought me a new camera, and we've only used it for graduation. I might do it again when we make another movie, but, you know, we'll see. So, uh, for my final project for Doc Class, I just turned in a cut of the film that was just, you know, all the funny stuff. All the other dumpers and dumpies. Nothing involved James or Ashley in the slightest. <laughs> the problem with that was... Okay, you tell him. <laughs> well, they knew that he got it all on film, and that's what they were expecting to see. So instead, he got a B. And you said that you would get an A for I don't fun. care what they say, there's still plenty of substance beneath the humor. Basically, Julie told me that the best way to truly move past this whole experience and put it behind us was to, was to, you know, let it all out, not keep everything inside. And I figured with all the footage that we shot, this was the best way to do that. I don't really know, like, what we're going to do with the movie, but I do know this. I just want to make you happy. Babe, I am happy. Okay, guys, hey. Uh, do I need to cut? <laughs> yes, Jay, cut. <laughs> no, no, that's cool. I'm sure Spielberg made all, what, with all of his subjects, yeah. Oh, shoot.